This is a problem for my Calculus 3 handout uh, from the section 12.2, which is starting to mess around with surfaces and how they relate it, the equation with the three-space graph. So here uh, the problem says graph the equation z equals x squared on the online program. Now it says same window as above, but I'm just going to use the window that I've been using in the other videos that I made. Now it says notice that y is not seen in this equation. This is just z equals x squared. Y is not seen, but yet it produces a 3D graph. Now let's take a look at what that means. Now here I am at the beginning of this, uh, just turned on the link to the 3D calc plotter. So I'm going to take away that graph. I am going to enter in here the graph C equals X squared. Click on function one so it'll graph, and then I'm going to graph it. Now again, I don't like how it goes above like that. I don't prefer that look. So I'm going to go to view settings, format axes, and I'm going to clip it on the top and on the bottom. I'm just going to leave it at two. It should be fine. Minus two to two for the clip. Apply changes and now it looks like it's going to sit in the window. So notice c equals x squared. Uh, we might be thinking that it is just the parabola z equals x squared. Now if I looked down on the xz plane, <coughs> it will in fact look like z equals x squared. But remember in class or remember when we don't have a variable that's mentioned in the equation, but yet it's a three-dimensional graph, it's assumed to be said that for all y, z equals x squared. That's why the same graph, z equals x squared, is pictured for every single value of y. And so we get this cylindrical, well, we call it a, cil a type of cylinder where the same picture is extended out along one axis. So it says here, notice that y is not seen. How is y represented? For all y, all y is represented here, every single one of them. Now it says write an equation so that the graph from above opens downward towards the negative z-axis. Its vertex runs along the x-axis. Now... <laughs> Here the vertex is running along the y-axis. I want it to turn it over and run it along the x-axis. Opens downward towards the negative z-axis and runs along the x-axis. So my guess would be to type in, uh, let's see, to turn it over, what is that that we always used to do when we turn things over in college algebra, say? Let's see, to turn thing over in college algebra, we always make the output negative. All right, so we take whatever the output was that was z was positive, and now it's going to be negative. Now, before, remember the graph stretched out along the y axis. Let me turn it so that you can see it again. Sorry, sorry that I'm not very good at that. But you can see it extending out along the y axis, the z axis is this way. I'm sorry, the x-axis is this way. So I'm going to, instead of using x squared, I'm going to use y squared. If I think logically and rational about it, use y squared. And let's see if that works. So that's my conjecture. Now I'm going to check it. Come over here, and I'm going to type in negative y squared. Hit clear, click on function one, then graph. And there you see it's stretching out now along the x-axis, but it's not turned over. So it looks like I left my negative off there. And I'm gonna graph it again, uh, clear, click, graph. And there we go. Now it's opening downward over the z-axis and it extends out along the x-axis. The last question says, considering parts A and B above, Conjecture what 3D shape would be produced if Z equals E to the Y and sketch it below. So that's something that you can do yourself. You know, this is, I know that you can go and type in Z equals E to the Y into the thing and, and sketch it and know immediately. But the idea here is to get your brain working properly to be able to look at this and know what it's going to look like without having to use the 3D calc plotter because when you take the test, you won't have the 3D calc plotter with you. 
So I suggest that you take things seriously when I say to make conjecture and figure out what this is going to look like.